This is episode two of the impact of COVID-19. I'm still your host, Eric, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about business. Unfortunately, we kind of started dividing businesses into non-essential and essential, and you could literally debate each business as essential because in theory, if it's a need, it's essential. Like in my eyes, if I really needed a lawnmower, that's technically essential to my needs, right? You could argue anything's essential, but many businesses unfortunately were forced to close during this. It costs so many jobs, millions of dollars in sales and earnings, and businesses and franchises even completely going bankrupt and never opening again. There were franchises that literally went bankrupt. There was uh, David's Tea, GNC, J Crew. There were a lot of different ones. Uh, there's so many more, but that's just a, a few off the top of my head. They were popular franchises. You know, David's Tea, I knew so many people that went there. Everybody I knew went to David's Tea. Uh, GNC had memberships, and, and uh, I knew a lot of people who went there. And there were a lot more that unfortunately just went out of business because the time closed just impacted them that badly. Like when you close your business for a month, that's no earnings whatsoever. And you still have to pay the bills. You still have to pay the light bill. You still have to pay the electric bill. It's the same thing. I don't know why I said it twice, but um, you still have to pay all these bills and you're not making any money. So of course you're going to end up broke. I could name you at least 12 businesses in my city that went out of business locally. You know, just people who were honest, small business owners that unfortunately did not survive. They drowned during this pandemic. So now you have businesses that were already in the negative, already can't afford to pay the rent, having to buy all this strange stuff, and they can't afford it. But they do it because they're hoping that they can open back up and have a chance to make some money. But then guess what would happen? Places would open for three weeks, maybe four, and then, nope, we're shutting down again. You know, numbers are getting bad again. We're shutting down. After they just spent all this money, got all this cleaning equipment, got their staff trained in this new, pol- you know, these new policies and stuff like that with COVID. Nope, we're shutting down again. And it's not shutting down for a week or two weeks. It's shutting down for like three, four months. It, it was an endless cycle of hell that probably is still going to happen. It would open up again, like a store, or a business that hasn't been opened. It's like, oh, hallelujah. Okay, we can go there. They'd be open for, you know, a short amount of time, make barely any money, and then then shut down again it just never stopped and it's still going on and more and more and more and more businesses are saying yeah we're done we're pulling out we're we we can't do this anymore small business owners were legitimately using their own personal funds to try to keep their business alive and then that didn't work and then they're left with nothing now hang on a second The question that isn't being asked is, did anyone succeed during this pandemic? Did anyone thrive? Did anyone make more money while this horrible tragedy was going on? And the answer is absolutely. This up-and-coming place, uh, oh, the name is slipping my mind. Oh, gee, Walmart? Uh, Up-and-coming business, you know, just a small little place. And what's that other little store called? Uh, Costco, that's, that's that, you know, that little story. I'm sure you guys have one. And there's one more that really just absolutely succeeded. It's a small, it's like an online retailer. It's called Amazon. Yeah. I mean, these big corporations that already made so much money, millions of billions of dollars thrived even more throughout this pandemic. So why did these corporations succeed, but not other businesses? Well, it's simple as this. They knew how to adapt and they had the money to make any sort of changes they needed. Walmart started doing online orders, uh, delivery, and I know they did that before, but they started doing at a much more higher rate. And as soon as the government would release regulations of what you had to do to stay open, they would be on that as quick as possible. And Amazon, Amazon's always been an online delivery service. So because people were sitting home and doing nothing, they were sitting on their phones doing more online shopping. Therefore, it was creating much more traffic for Amazon. I'm sure Amazon's not the only online store that succeeded. There's many, many other ones, but Amazon was definitely the big one that succeeded in this. There are so many businesses now that just focus on their online sales rather than their in-person sales. There are people out there who were dead set against online shopping that now love it. That's all they'll do. They won't even go back to a store now that it's open. I've seen businesses pretty much fully open at times and people don't want anything to do with it because people have gotten so accustomed to this online world. So do I think this will have a permanent impact on business? Absolutely. Because there are things that you just can't undo. You can't undo bankruptcy. You can get out of it, but you can't undo what happened. I know people who have actually lost their businesses who are now just doing whatever they can get for work, which is 
unfortunate because these were people who were once very passionate about their business and actually succeeded and are now not doing anything they love. Uh, with benefits, especially in Canada with benefits like CERB, uh, the Canadian Recovery Benefit and the Sickness Benefit, they know the impact it's had. So they're giving people money uh, because of loss of employment. Like it's something that's known, but I just don't think people can fully grasp the impact it's really had on the business world for good and for bad. You know, there are, of course, corporations that have thrived, as I talked about, and I really just think it's done more bad than good. This is episode two. Thank you so much for watching. Join me on episode three when I talk about social situations. Thank you, guys. Bye.